What's up guys? So Windows 8 has been out now for a few days and I've been using it and I thought I would do just a quick rundown of uh, Windows 8 and the feature set for it. Um, so we'll take a look. Um, so I'm going to start off by going over the newest feature, obviously the Metro UI, where you can see all your new tiles. You get things like a full screen mail app, this is your people app obviously. And this will pull in your contacts from all of your different social media accounts so you can see I've got my Microsoft account, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, all the standards. Um, I haven't really used this app, I don't really see a need for it. And that pull down on the top closes everything out. So you've got full screen still, there's a messaging app that I don't really use. This is the Bing Weather app which is actually pretty, it's, it's a nice looking app, but again it's not anything that I think is essential. It, it, you can pull up a lot of different information, you can pull up you know, radar and see live stream and all that stuff, but this isn't really anything you couldn't do website and the left side lets you switch between open tiles or your standard Windows desktop that you're used to. So we're we'll down from the top that closes it out again. Uh, and this shows you all my other installed applications, things that aren't necessarily Metro related. So you've got things like Putty or Classic Start Menu, which we'll go over in a couple minutes. Um, but all your basic apps just gives you a simple launcher. You can see my recording software, all the other apps I have installed, they're pretty basic and normal. Um, now this is also the camera app, so this will let you access your webcam, your microphone. You can see I'm just going to do a quick test. Hello, yes, that's all it is. Uh, very basic. Um, I actually really like the sports app. It gives you like a rundown of all the major sports websites, use SB Nation, Fox News. Lays everything out in a really simple to read, simple layout for a tablet would be great. Um, same thing with uh, the news app. So this gives you all the news for like. Uh, obviously Hurricane Sandy's happening right now. I really like the way that the layouts show you all the information. It's really simple to read. It gives you basically like a magazine instead of a web page, which is really nice, but again, not essential. Better on a tablet than on a desktop. And speaking of, here's the standard Windows desktop you're all used to and Classic Shell, which if you're going to use it, you pretty much need to have this application. Now that start screen will take you back to the Metro UI, but it'll go on my other monitors. So you can see this is the standard start menu. It gives you all the same features that Windows 7 had previously. Um, lists all your apps. You can see you can still all run the same stuff you did before. I load up my Steam account here. It takes a minute to load because I had it unloaded. Um, but you know, MetroTwit, all my recording software, as you can see. Um, I'm going to my cycle bin real quick. I didn't realize there was junk in it. Um, so yep, yeah, Steam works the way you're used to seeing on Windows 7. Um, all your games will play the same way for the most part. You can select this network shares the same way you're used to. Not a big deal really. Um, so here's all the new updated drive reading. And this is actually built in ISO mounting, which is really nice. So if you have an ISO, you can mount it directly to your computer without any third party software. So we'll like go through and uh, dig into my software and grab my operating system directory which I actually do own this software. This is just an easier way for me to download it. Um, so I just double click and it automatically mounts. You can see in computer, there's just the contents of the DVD that you're used to. It's mounted right there. If you go into computer, it shows up just like drive E. So if you use something like Daemon Tools or Virtual Clone Drive, that's built into the operating system now. So you can see, I'll activate it up. It's my i7, all my devices are installed, no real problems. Um, wasn't really a big deal to get installed. I built a thumb drive. And this also integrates the Ribbon UI from Office, which gives you quick access to a lot of features of the operating system or little things that maybe you would have had to hit other menus before. If you change views, you can see it gives you live updates right over everything. Um, it's, it's actually probably the best part of Windows 8 so far is their revamp for the Explorer. It's, it's really, really nice. Uh, and that's across everything, not just computers. So if you go into your documents, you can see that you've got the same exact Ribbon UI to make new folders, all that stuff right there. Um, this also with Classic Shell gives you the same access to user accounts, how to manage your credentials, everything. It's it's basically Classic Shell will turn this into a faster version of Windows 7. Um, so overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I've been using it for a few days. I haven't really had any problems. As long as you install Classic Shell, it's going to be the Windows you're really used to, and you can kind of avoid Metro. Um, but it's still there if you would need it. But that's it. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know, and uh, I'll post more reviews of things coming as uh, they come out. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you guys later.